Hello, beautiful people, and welcome to my channel. If you're new here and you haven't met me before, my name is Jennifer Diamond, and I live a whole food, plant-exclusive, sofas-free, gluten-free lifestyle for health and well-being. Sofas-free is salt, oil, flour, alcohol, sugar-free. I don't eat any of that, and it has helped me get to a point where I can exercise now and I've got my life back. And one thing that I've been trying to do uh, for the new year is take my exercise up a step. And so I thought I would bring you along with me and show you what I'm doing right now. So I actually love to do yoga and I'm currently doing a 30-day uh, yoga that's free with Yoga by Adrian. You can look her up on YouTube. I'll put a link in the show notes, but we're not going to do yoga today because today I'm going to do some weightlifting and I've been working on another program with Caroline Garvin, I think is her name, and I will link that also in the show notes. Um, these are free and you can choose anyone you want, um, anywhere you can, if you're in a gym or if you like YouTube, maybe you're working with a trainer. The idea for me to share, because I'm not a professional and I don't have any former training, but the idea for me is just to show you that if you start somewhere, you, you can progress and you can be successful. I uh, would recommend if you've never done any kind of exercise program or if you have any kind of injuries or anything that doesn't feel right, or just to make sure, reach out to your doctor or your professional um, doctor that you, know, you work with and just make sure that <clears throat> whatever you're going to try is right for you. So I currently am wearing my weighted vest, and for this, I'm going to take it off. I don't want to have extra weight when I do leans or different positions um, that can cause me to have my balance off and trip or fall or get injured. So I'm going to go ahead and take that off right now. If you're interested in learning about what um, what I'm wearing with the weighted vest currently, I will link that video in the description as well. And I am currently up to 10 pounds, including the vest. And that's a super huge accomplishment for me. But going back to what we're here for today, um, I, I've been slowly increasing my workouts and my exercise all different kinds of ways. And one way is that I want to cure or reverse, I should say reverse my osteoporosis diagnosis. And I'd like to be more in the category of osteopenia, which I believe is um, a healthy place to be uh, as we age. And so, um, you know, I don't really follow what the video or the person, or the if you're in a class, does exactly, I need to make sure that I start with where I am. And so when I first started, I didn't use any weights in a weighted class. I just used my own body to make my own resistance. So if I were, you know, um, squeezing in, instead of holding a some kind of a weight in my hand, I'll use my own force, my own resistance, and I'll pretend like there's something here that I'm pushing against. And if I'm going down the other way, I would push against it and make it slow incremental movements. And, you know, that was a step for me. But now I'm proud to say that I am using some light weights. Um, I started with I, I started with these half pounds, I increased to the two pounds, and now I'm up to these three and a half pounds. And I have also, on certain exercises, been using the five pounds, and even for legs, 
I believe it, eight pounds. So um, you might see me switching off and sometimes I might just feel like that doesn't feel right and I won't use any weights. But regardless, I'm just gonna share some of my workout with you in hopes to inspire you to get up and move your body because our bodies were meant to move. All right, here we go. Thanks for joining me. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the little bell and get notifications when I go live or post new videos. I'd love to also have a communication with you. So leave a comment. And if you like this kind of content, you want to see more, you want to help me spread the word to others, hit the like button. I would so appreciate it. All right, here we go. I also wanted to mention that I have these... Um, Carbinger on uh, hand protectors, and I, I think I'm going to put them on. They just help me um, with gripping, and I used to use them a lot when I had heavier weights. Um, but even with the smaller weights, sometimes I wear these, and they come with the fingers out with covered complete fingers. There's cushion here that you can see and cushion here and it just kind of protects um, my hands from gripping. Also, it, you what you will see me doing some resting in between. And so let's get it get it going again. Here we go.
gosh. <laughs> that was so fantastic. I am so excited. Wait till I tell you why I'm so excited. Uh, you know, I was going to tell you, first of all, that um, I'm on day four of this particular routine of hers, but I haven't been able to do it consecutively in four days or even each day as it comes. I sometimes have done half of one of the days and then I feel sore for two days. So I don't finish the half, the other half, the first one until actually the third day. And I just do that because my body's talking to me and I really, really want to listen to her and honor her. Today was the first day <laughs> since my recovery started that I completed an entire program of hers and I got to do it with you guys. I am so excited. And, you know, I wanted to tell you, um, if you are brand new to this, any kind of exercise, you don't have to keep up with anyone. Just do a little bit. And then whenever the next time is, don't let it go too long. But the next day or the next two days, try to go at least where you were and maybe a little bit more. And do it at your own pace. And you you will feel, so, I feel so good. You will feel so good. Not only because you accomplished something, but when we have movement and we get our blood, you know, and endorphins and all this stuff, chatting and moving around inside. Oh my gosh. It just, it feels amazing. I, I feel on top of the world and I'm so glad we got to do it together. I also wanted to mention there was a um, an exercise where I was standing, you know, on the block with part of my foot. And the idea was to elevate your ankles uh, so you can get a deeper, uh, you know, workout in the legs. You don't have to start there. You could just do whatever. Don't don't use anything. You could just do the, the floor or you could use a weight or anything that isn't slippery. And you could even, even that tiny, tiny bit would be great. And, and you could do, you know, on each foot, you could put one on, on each foot, uh, not on it, but you could put them like this and then put your heel on. That's what I'm trying to say. Anyways, um, another thing is, like I had said earlier, you don't need to start with any weights. You can just do your own body. And if you decide that you actually want to do weights or you're ready to do weights that you don't own any weights, there's a few things you could do. You could um, go around your house and get any kind of canned food. And, you know, a canned food might be the size of, of this and, and you can fit it in your hand and you can use that any way that you want. Um, you can continue to use bottled water or you know anything a, a hammer a tool a, a broomstick I mean you you can be as creative as you want a, a thing of beans a container of rice I mean and you know some of those bags are 25 pounds <laughs> so depending on what you have in your house and what you want to do if you are looking for some weights um there are so many different types and styles and sets that you can start with. I can link a couple in the description, but you know, you could even just go to um, a, a thrift store or um, there's a place out here called Play It Against Sports. And I haven't been there in years. I hope they're still open, but they sell used um, weights and different things like that. There's so many ways that you can accomplish whatever you want, even using a book. I mean, that's a great one. So I, I just, I just want to encourage you. And I just want to show you, you don't have to be perfect. I certainly am a far cry from perfect. And you know, you just have to be safe. You should get permission from your doctor and make sure that it is safe for you. And then find somebody that resonates with you and you can create your own program. Another thing that I haven't been doing, but I used to do, and I think I'm going to start again is logging what I'm doing. So I can 
remember what my progress is. So I can write, you know, what each exercise was and the date and each to next to each exercise, I can put, you know, body weight or, you know, two pounds, whatever I did and how many reps. If you don't want to count, you can, you don't have to do it that detailed either. You could just put, you know, the name of the YouTube you followed or whatever program um, and just put, I used, uh, you know, uh, three and a half pounds, five pounds and eight pounds. So you can get real detailed or you don't have to. Um, but what's so fantastic about it and having the date too. So you go, how many, I, I think I did that three days ago. And then you're like, oh my gosh, I did that last week or wow, that was just yesterday. And it's, it's very helpful. But another thing that you can do with that is you can see, okay, I wrote down that I used three and a half pounds doing this particular tricep dip or whatever, um, whatever it is, whatever exercise it is. I use three and a half pounds. You can even write at the time if it was hard or if it felt light. And then when you go back, you go to, oh, I remember now this one was really hard. I think I'm going to bump it down to no weights or uh, a pound lighter and listen to your body. And if it was super easy, then you know it's time to move up. So I hope this was helpful. I really, really do. And I hope that you get to feel the way that I'm feeling all the time, most of the days. I mean, it's not a perfect, we can't walk around just, you know, on a cloud, but it just feels so good to feel good. And you know what? Mm -hmm. With exercise comes something else you should do. Eat your greens, right, Remy? <laughs> Thank you for taking this journey with me. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye. Last little thing I forgot to share. I love sweating. I think it's fantastic to detox and just to, to get all of that out. It gives me more energy. And I was sweating this time. So I just had to pop back on and, sh and share that with you. All right, for real now, eat your greens. Take care. Bye-bye.